Class 3A and uh, ninth ranked Wall Hawks hosting Class 2A and ninth ranked Cisco Lobos. First quarter of the rain causing havoc. Muff pumped by the Lobos. Brylan White scoops it up and takes it back for the score. A big man touchdown can't beat those. Wall off to an early 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Cisco responds. Trenton Houston gets a handoff and just powers his way in, dragging defenders into the end zone. No good on the extra point. It's 7-6. Still the second. Miscommunication by the Hawks. A loose ball picked up by uh, Trey Burkeen. Makes a man miss and see you later. Just like that, Cisco out in front 12 to 6. And just like that, Cisco wins this one by the final score of 18 to 14. Just the kind of game you would expect to be played between two teams ranked ninth in their respective divisions. Cisco takes it by four points. They are 2 and 0 on the season. A little farther north, the seventh ranked Coleman Blue Cats at home this week to take on the Ballinger Bearcats third quarter. Coleman's Jaden Jackson keeps the football around the corner, breaks a couple of tackles, and gets 10 yards for a first down. That's going to set up Rylan Gentry. He carries it the rest of the way for the touchdown. A good, hard, strong run like you would expect from Gentry. And then later in the third, Ballinger on fourth down. The punt is caught by Hagen Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh follows his blockers coming back toward the cameraman. That broken tackle right there, and he's going to score another touchdown for the Blue Cats. Check the score. Coleman rolls tonight by the final score of 48 to nothing. Blue Cats now 2 and 0, ranked seventh in the state. Ballinger falls to 0 and 2 on the season. And now we're going to the land of the Dragons. Bangs looking to breathe fire on Comanche, but Comanche had other ideas. First quarter, Bangs Hunter Newton. Keeps the football on the snap, and he's going to sneak it into the end zone to give Bangs a touchdown. Then Comanche's uh, Layden Welch around the right side. Big gain here for a first down, and taken down by the face mask. Sets up Welch again to give the Indians their first touchdown. Good, hard, tough running up the middle. Now looking to secure the lead. Comanche, uh, they're going to go for two. It's successful. Check the score on this one. Comanche rolls. They take it by the final score of 42 to 18. The Indians on a roll. They're 2 0. Raven Ray, before the start of the season, said Comanche would be a team to deal with. And looks like she is going to be right. 